spent 10 years in Sudan. They say, oh, you're Sudanese, you should speak very good Arabic. But I, I have not uh, learned uh, Arabic that, that much as well as I should because of you all. Whenever I meet you all, you all speak with me in English. <laughs> We can, we 
can work on it, yes. But it has to come from within. That, yes. Always saying, yes, I can do it, I will do it. I see the classes half full. I can work in the, on a Thursday evening in Khamis also. If the doctor is working, then I can also work. Also in Saturdays, I can work. Wherever, whenever the medical doctors are working, you are working. All of you are working. If you keep that in mind, then most of the job is done. Another thing, I'm coming straight to that, okay. Then in marketing. But yes, sales and marketing. Now so the thing is that in India everyone, of course there are, uh, but all are failures. These MBAs who go straight directly into marketing, uh, most of them are failures. Because why? Because they don't have the field experience, which is very important. Absolutely. Field experience. I can tell you very confidently that I did my BSc, Human Physiology. And after that, I did my MBA, marketing. But I started my career as a medical representative of Pfizer in India. We got very good training. You know, Pfizer, very good training. Number one company in the world. But they gave us, they, they gave us the knowledge. Because, you see, uh, let me tell you one thing. That because most of the pharmacists in India, now I'm talking about India because my brother told me an Indian perspective. And let me tell you, I am always very proud to talk about India. Why? Because outside US, you all talk about US MPA. So that means US is the greatest country for pharmaceuticals. All the research, all the trials, right? Yes. All the new molecules, all the multinational companies in New Jersey, USA, okay? Outside USA, the only country, the only country which has the maximum number of factories approved by US MBA is India. 122 factories manufacturing pharmaceuticals in India, they have got approval from US MBA. US MBA approval means what? That in a factory, they will approve the manufacturing of one product, either mephanemic acid 250 milligram or simvastatin 20 milligram. It is not the approval of the factory, the approval of a product line of a particular product. But what is marketing? Marketing is that company will say, we are US FDA approved company. Rightly so, rightly so, but that is marketing. It is true, isn't it? It's not a lie. That is marketing, right? So outside USA, the only country which has 122 factories approved by USFDA is India. That means they rely on the quality of the products manufactured in India these factories. Because of the, you see, I'll tell you what. Another thing is, the maximum, the highest number of uh, scientists, you know, researchers, researchers, or pharmacists, senior pharmacists, doctors, uh, pharmacists who have got PhD, they are mainly Indian. And they are available uh, in, in not very high salaries. And all the factories producing very high, economies of scale. So huge production because 1.3 billion people waiting for the medicines in India. The production is very high because of high production, not very high salaries, and not much funding into R&D, research. Medicines in India are cheaper. And that is why, I don't like using the word cheap. I say it is more affordable. Right more economical, okay? So that is why now all the generic, because even rich country like America, 
but they are now going for generics. Because the insurance, they want to, the patient to buy the lowest cost medicine. So generics. So they are, now the generic market in USA is increasing. So there are a lot of generics which are, which are uh, exported from India to US. Okay? Now, but as I said, most of the pharmacists in the industry in India, very few pharmacists come for sales and marketing. That is why I am in sales and marketing. I'm not a pharmacist, but I'm a physiologist. But let me tell you, we have got very good training. So uh, my my knowledge of uh, pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics is not very bad. <laughs> But what is the strength is the communication. That is most important for a sales job. Abah, Abah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying and telling them to this fact yes. over there. Yes. 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 That is the most important communication. Right. But let me tell you, no matter, but again, another thing is that you may be a very good communicator, very good knowledge. Very good selling skill. Communication is part of the skill. But if you don't have the attitude, then you are a failure. You are a loser. So I always talk about the attitude. Okay? Believe me, I'm not trying to boast of myself. One doctor, Mr. Vishal, called me up yesterday. Oscar, you have to come tomorrow. I said, yes. I don't say no. What time? Okay. Six, five, a bit late. And because of that, it will be. <laughs> but, but, I, this is my attitude that I want to meet, I want to talk, I want to share my experience. Right? So, that attitude, all of us. Now, in, in, in the selling job, Dr. Vishal wants me to talk more on selling. In the selling job, how do you judge? Medical representative. Number one, I keep telling everyone that do you work on a Thursday evening? Everyone says, no, we don't work on Thursday evening. Fair, fair enough. But if there is a doctor working on Thursday evening and he gets a patient and doctor wants to serve the patient with free samples from your company and calls you, hey, Bhaskar, can you come and give me these samples because my patient, I want to give. How do you react? How do you respond? That is the attitude. If you respond with a smile, hey, this doctor has called me. Sorry, friends, I can't chill with you all tonight. I, I have this doctor calling me. I have to go because normally Thursdays, no other medical representative working, less competition. I get very good interview with the doctor. I can talk, communicate effectively. I can convince him about my product. And let me tell you one thing. That consistency is the key word. Consistency or consistency. Can see. Okay? He's a consistent person and he is a successful person because of his consistency. Why? What do I mean by that? I mean that if I have doctor's list in my territory. I am working in Udar Undurman Shingeti. I believe all people, majority of the people in Shingeti have the origin in Parachuana. Right? Some are told me this. Yes. Okay. So, if, hey, not Marijuana. No, no. Okay. What, how do you spell that word? How do you pronounce that word? This place? 